The light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, the presence of God watches over us wherever we are, God is, and all is love. Uh, this is Brother Eli at the Summit Lighthouse, also doing business as Ben Turner, and uh, it is 12.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States on Saturday, uh, December 9th, 2017. Uh, and uh, I'm on to share uh, some information about the Golden Age Dispensation. I'm a New Age minister and a member of Holy Orders at the Summit Lighthouse, Gardner, Montana. I wanted to show you the chart of the Divine Self for those of you um, who are not yet aware or just for people who want a reminder. This is a good basis uh, I need to give you some better lighting here. I don't think you're going to see it. Oh, you'll see it a little bit better when I turn the light away. I want you to see, think of this in terms of three levels. There's an image at the bottom. There's a, there's a, a man at the very bottom uh, with a halo who's in the process of making his ascension. And what you see in the middle is uh, Jesus in many charts, but in this particular chart, I believe it's Guru Nanak. Uh, and the, the sort of emblazonment at the top, or the um, the monad, we call it, is, is the I am presence. And you'll also see, if you look closely, you'll see his face. Right, this is your God presence. I refer to it as well as the Dharmakaya, although I know that it's the Dharmakaya um, because I received inner instruction with respect to that during my TSL Chila ship, but Dharmakaya might mean a little something a little bit different in uh, the Eastern religions. But right, this is Guru Nanak, um, and in uh, Zoroastrianism. Well, let's see if that's Guru Nanak. That's not Guru Nanak in this instance because this is Zoroastrianism and not Sikhism. So that's an, imp an important difference. And they're saying that this is Zoroaster, ag rather Zarathustra, well, also known as Zarathustra, in the middle. In this particular version, because there are multiple versions, there's a Buddhist version where you'll actually see. Um, I'm not sure who they have in the middle in the Buddhist version. A, a, a seated Buddha, I believe. A Buddha in the lotus position. I'd have to check. Um, and of course, the Christian as well. Christian mysticism is integral um, to Tibetan Buddhism, uh, Hindu Buddhism, Hinduism, and so forth. Although people don't refer to Christ necessarily, rather beloved Jesus, as Christ. In those instances, he was, he's referred to as something uh, in another capacity, Ho hopefully because it's an integral part of the actual teaching, the true teaching, the Sanatana Dharma. We have to understand the person of Christ. Um, we might not call him Jesus Christ, and we might not recognize him as the Jesus of the Bible, but um, he is really to ferret, is one of the teachings from Elizabeth Clare Prophet um, in the Kabbalah. Uh, in Ju Judaic mysticism. He is the perfect man. And my dispensation uh, presently revolves around teaching with regard to that. The indispensable notion of a perfect man. Uh, interacting with the world system, in other words. So, the Via Della Rosa is actually a, uh, the name of an actual street in Italy, and it's, um, let's see here. No, it can't be Italy, right? It has to be um, Jerusalem, I imagine. In any event, Via Della Rosa is uh, the name of a street, Dolorosa. Difference, uh, quite a difference between Dolorosa and Dolorosa, which is also of the rose in Spanish. Dolorosa is, is street of sorrows or the way of sorrows or suffering. 
Um, that is the Christ path. I, I refer to it in my uh, teaching as the Golgotha path. Um, it is the path to the crucifixion that ultimately was withstood by Jesus Christ, or rather, you know, he was subjected to that path. Um, but that Via Della Rosa is in, in a continuous state of unfoldment because until we put a permanent stop to it, which will happen um, in the next round, I believe, the incoming Aquarian Age will put a stop to the Via Della Rosa, in other words. Um, but in any event, so you have a chart here, which we call the chart of the divine self. And they're referring to each of us has the potential to be the messenger of our divine self. And that's through the, inter and through the um, intervention of the higher self, the Jesus in the middle. It's really an emanation of, of the secret chamber of the heart um, when you are invoking that power. Um, but ultimately, this is where you want to end up in your, in your, on your, in your path. And the Zoroastrians are calling it Ahura Mazda. We're calling it I Am Presence at Church Universal and Triumphant, but effectively that's the only difference. So this is you at the bottom. Through the intervention of, I will call it the Christ in the middle. And again, if you're a Sikh, you're going to call it Guru Nanak, or you're going to use your... Um, the information that is familiar to you, but it's the it's the, really the intervention of of the guru, um, really the living. I suppose the living guru or the it's really the living master Jesus. I suppose in some respects, but the living guru, and I will get I will get more information to you about the difference between um, this middle figure. A mother refers to the living master guru. How does she put it? The living master Jesus, the guru, and um, the holy Christ self of the individual, and they're all slightly different, but they also do serve the same function depending upon where you are in space-time. So, in any event, but Christ, really, at CUT, is um, the middle figure in this chart. So, in order to get to where you need to be, you invoke the presence of the higher self. This is the higher self. This is the I Am Presence, or Hura Mazda. I, I should specify Ahura Mazda and this is you right now an embodiment the lower self in the violet surrounded by the violet fire activity the violet flame activity that's that's what's going on at the moment so I suppose I could read this it's somewhat lengthy but if you want information, the illustration, by the way, is by N. Thomas Miller. And if you want information, who's also done other art that's not actually licensed to TSL. That's somewhat interesting. Miller has done art for other, this is TSL, this is my sangha. But he's done art for, I believe he's done art for the arts, uh, the Heart Center as well. Um, there's a there's a ascended master at the Heart Center known as Claire DeLee. Claire de Lee is Elizabeth Claire Prophet um, as an ascended master, but we don't recognize Claire de Lee at the Summit Lighthouse. We recognize Mother Elizabeth Claire Prophet to be an embodiment of Goddess Maru. That was the decision by the authorities at the ranch when Elizabeth made her transition and was viewed as having. Um, ascended, the ranch authorities decided that she was Goddess Maru. Um, so, Heart Center says Claire de Lee, we say Goddess Maru, and actually it is pivotally important to understand our perception. I, I'm not saying the Heart Center is not valid. As a matter of fact, there's a valid vibration in what they have done there. Claire de Lee is really a play on Fleur de Lee which is the three-petal flame of the individual 
really it's the individual spark that resides within the um, secret chamber of the heart, the fleur-de-lis, which you see in French, French art and historical iconography. So I do like I like it in that it has a, it does have a specific vibration. It works for that particular path and that particular group, I suppose. But it's really important that information uh, remain codified, and so and really that that is all through the third eye of the evolving chila. It has to be you can't just cherry pick information and say this looks right. This doesn't well. You can if you're at a chill at a certain level of attainment, as a matter of fact. But we don't just accept all information. Um, but it Goddess Maru, I would encourage I would encourage everybody to study more about God and Goddess Maru um, and what it means for Mother to have been determined to uh, be such an embodiment. Okay, I'm going to keep this running and get on the get on the line now and see if I can um, interact with this video actually what I'm going to do is try to see if I can interact with this video that I'm making now for the purpose of editing it for the internet and then I will return to you and talk about these seven rays